anything like me when you're out shooting like this, you're constantly switching back and forth between slow frame rate and high frame rate. I'm going back and forth between 24 and 60 frames per second consistently. And it got me thinking, there has got to be a better way, an easier way to do this. I really, really wish there was just a magic button on the camera that I could press it and switch all my settings instantaneously. It's kind of loud around here. I'm gonna go somewhere else. And one more thing. Why did I think it was a good idea to wear pants today? It's like 95 degrees out here. All right, so it's a little bit quieter around here. Hope you can hear me better. As I was saying, I really wish there was just a, a button on the back of the camera that would make it super easy to switch back and forth between settings. I was sitting there looking at my camera and I noticed this little button, C1, C2, and C3, and I'm like, huh, I wonder what's going on here. Do you guys know about this? If you do, why did you leave me in the dark for so long? But anyway, these buttons, you can set up different camera settings, like it saves all your settings and you just switch right to that setting and boom, you're off to the races. It's super cool. Let me take you guys back to the studio to show you how this is done. Okay, like I said, I don't know if I just missed the boat on this and this is something everybody knows about or it's just not that common that people use these things. But once I realized that I could set these custom functions to the settings that I use for regular shooting and then the settings that I use for slow motion shooting, it's like a game changer, it's incredible. Okay, this is actually super, super easy to set up in your camera. If you've never done this, if you don't know how to do it, why? I mean, I don't know why I didn't do this until like three hours ago. I just discovered that I could do this. I'm like, what? Mine blown. This is incredible. By the way, I'm coming up with a new series called Minute Monday, and today is the first one. Welcome, hooray! So I'm gonna try to explain this tip to you in one minute or less. One minute on the clock, let's go. So to get this set up, all you do is set up your camera as if you were gonna go out and shoot at 24 frames per second. So get your shutter speed at 50, set your ISO to whatever you use the most. Same with your aperture. If you shoot at 2.8 a lot, set it at 2.8. If you shoot at f16 a lot, set it to f16. Just make sure your camera is set to your most commonly used settings. And it, this copies everything over, like your mic recording volumes, your ISO, your picture styles, every little detail. Your shutter, if you're on your high-speed shutter, or if you're on a time delay shutter, it copies every little detail to this function button. So once you have everything set, get into your menu and find custom shooting mode, and it says C1-C3 in parentheses. Hit select on that, register to settings, and then set that to one, two, or three. It's just that simple. It's mind blown. Like I said, just, it can't, how, it, yeah. Now this is on Canon. I don't know about Sony or Panasonic or Nikon or anything like that. I imagine they have a similar feature. Now, a quick tip, when setting your slow motion, bump your ISO up one stop or two stops depending on what frame rate you're shooting at. So if you're going from 24 to 60, bump it up one stop. If you're going from 24 to 120, bump it up two stops. That'll make up for the difference in shutter speed when you switch over from one to the other. So if you're still shooting at the same aperture, why can I not think of that word today? If you're still shooting at the same aperture, you're, you're ready to go. You don't have to change any settings. You just go right back to shooting. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's super easy. I don't know why I didn't know about this before. If, if you guys knew about it, let me know. I mean, put it down here in the comments if, if you knew about it and I'm just slow. I'm on the slow boat. Slow boat, slow boat. No Where's that clock out, by the way? Did I go over a minute? All right, guys, big thank you to all my new subscribers. I love having you guys. I hope you guys find some value in this channel. If you do, give me a big thumbs up down here. If you really, really like what I'm doing, hit that red subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know when I put up a new video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.